There are lots of times where the power rule for derivatives can be applied, but it's not immediately obvious. For instance, suppose we have y equals one over x to the 20, and we're asked to find dy dx. At first glance, this doesn't look like a power function at all. Power is in the denominator of this expression. We can rewrite this algebraically as y equals x to the negative 20. Once we rewrite it this way as x raised to the negative 20th power, it matches the power rule pattern perfectly. So now we have dy dx is equal to bring down the power negative 20 times x to the negative 20 minus one. Now be careful, negative 20 minus one is negative 21, not negative 19. Simplify this further, I could simplify it as negative 20 times x to the negative 21. I just have to type that in correctly. The big thing is it's gonna be negative 20 times x to the negative 21. And I can always preview to make sure that that matches what I wanted it to look like before I submit the answer.